Peanut butter and jelly is a great way to practice bowing at the heel of the bow. That's this bit. And at the tip of the bow. That's this bit. There are three versions of the piece so you can practice it on all four strings. First, on the D and A strings. Then, on the G and D strings. And finally, on the A and E strings. The first line of the piece, this is where we spread the peanut butter, is played right at the heel, starting on a down bow and using about a quarter of the bow for each quarter note or crochet. Then, during the whole note or semi brief at the end of the line, we travel right the way through the bow over the four beats. And now it's time to spread the jelly. We'll play the second line right at the tip, again using about a quarter of the bow for each note, except this time starting on an up bow. For the last note of the piece, we travel all the way from the tip to the heel over four beats. The aim is to get an absolutely delicious, nutritious, resonant sound and really smooth string crossings at both the heel and the tip of the bow. We need to spread the peanut butter and the jelly evenly with just the right amounts and without making a mess. First, let's find the balance point of the bow. Rest it on your finger like this. Notice how the point of balance is below the center. This means the bow is heavier in the lower half, towards the heel, and lighter in the upper half, towards the tip. In order to get an even, consistent sound throughout the bow, we need to take some of the weight out in the lower half and put more in the upper half. At the heel, we take the weight out by supinating the hand like this. This shifts the weight of the hand from the first finger to the little finger. And it's the little finger that balances the bow, acting as a counterweight. At the tip, we do the opposite. We pronate the hand like this and put the weight of the hand into the first finger, then into the bow and then into the string. It's a small amount of extra weight, but it makes a world of difference to the sound. A good exercise is to try playing at the heel without the first finger on the bow. Feel how the little finger takes the weight. Now, try playing at the tip with just the thumb and first finger on the bow and all the other fingers lifted. Now, let's try it with all the fingers on the bow, but still with the same feeling. We need to create the same quality of sound the same focus, the same volume, and the same smoothness at both the heel and the tip. Now, we are ready to make our peanut butter and jelly sandwich and perform the whole piece. <laughs>